the casts were just nothing but bait, no seaweed, no jellyfish. <laughs> and it, it was no stress. It was a really nice. <laughs> Rinse and go. Yeah, pleasurable go. Uh, bait catching experience for sure. And it was what, when all the while the rain kind of moved out of the area. So we had to go through the rain to get to the bait, but while we took the time to catch the bait, the rain actually cleared up for a little while and gave us a nice little weather window for Scotty to get us out to the drifting area off of uh, northern Key Largo. Oh, I love doing that. I love stalling them on the boat, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, boy, how'd that feel? Plantation Boat Marts Into the Blue, presented by Invincible, with Captain Scott Walker and Captain Steve Roger. So, Scotty, we're, you got me back up here, Plantation Boat Mart, uh, our new uh, partnership with them. You guys, your good buddy, Scott Stokey, captain of us. Again, um, this place is amazing. It's three acres, the largest Invincible dealer in the world. Uh, if you want to- It shows. If you want to <laughs> come out here and check out some of these Invincibles, they'll fly you in, they'll put you up just up the road and give you this full, you know, VIP treatment. And they, they got a giant inventory, I mean, you might want to order your own, but if you don't, you can walk away with one right off the lot. I mean, this place is a magnificent, actually, working boatyard. There's a bustle of activity from sunrise to sunset. It's all about Invincible, and uh, they take care of you from start to finish. It's fantastic. And having Scott living right here, versus us being, you know, 40 miles down the road, his uh, guide service has been, uh, just what it took for us to catch some fish this week. All right, gentlemen, you ready for another day? Yeah, man. All right. What you thinking? Well, we'll leave here out of Plantation Boat Mart and uh, head and go catch some more bait and head to Key Largo. Do All some right. drift fishing. Drift fishing. I'm going to rig the spinners with two live bait mono and two live bait wire rigs. Awesome. We have three or four wire on that. I'd go with three. Okie dokie. We jumped on. We rolled right out to the bait spot. The weather was kind of iffy. You know, you looked around and there was a lot of rain in the area. Uh, they were predicting some winds to be picking up. But uh, man, I tell you, that new 36 Invincible, really nice boat. Got them chummed up. They just flipped in <laughs> front of me. They're chummed right up right next here, to buddy. Us. Sweet, take them. They're, they're right, they're eating out of the bag. Good. Coming up to some flippers, too. They'll join the party. Oh, yeah. They're there. That's what you're talking about there. All right, I would pull it. Only in 11 feet. Christmas tree. Nah, no, not too bad. The little guys in that school. Once we got the last throw. It's all selfish bait in there. A little forward. We got them better by in front of this intrepid with the sandies. All right. The casts were just nothing but bait, no seaweed, no jellyfish. <laughs> and it, it was no stress. It was really nice. <laughs> Rinse and go. Yeah, pleasurable go. Uh, bait catching experience for sure. And it was what, when all the while the rain kind of moved out of the area. So we had to go through the rain to get to the bait, but while we took the time to catch the bait, the rain actually cleared up for a little while and gave us a nice little weather window for Scotty to get us out to the drifting area off of uh, northern Key Largo. Yeah. Where are we at, Scotty, and what are we doing? We're Spiegel oh Grove, just to the west of us there with the dive boat. Yeah. Off Key Largo. What reef is that? Spiegel Grove, it's a wreck. Spiegel, gotcha. Only been here Wahoo fishing. Where's those ledge go? Uh, the did you bring any? Ones. I did. I know where mine are. Wow, good mark here. All right, we got to put some more water in that well. I'll get that after we get. Uh, no, I think that's the level. You know what I mean? That's where the drain's at, Scotty. All right, let's go. Cool. 
box is just the heavy stuff. Michael? 30 or 40, Cap? My leader. Uh, I went with 30. You want me to go 40? Uh, 8, 10, 12. I think we're all going to need like 12s. All right. That's three of them. Number C. Bro, you pick up that 40, that feels like 80. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, look at that. I guess you, that's why yeah. you stopped. I <laughs> yep. guess that's why you stopped, huh, Captain? Just one of the honey holes. Six times six, 36, Stokey. What the math man taught me. Six times six, 36? Yeah. Oh. Fish on, baby. Oh. Oh, that's a good one. There you go. Steve this is followed me for five minutes. Fuck you, Steve, on your bottom. 30 right? or 40? I'm 40. Get big yellow jacks up here as well. Muttons, groupers. Plantation Boat Marts Into the Blue, presented by Invincible, is brought to you by Plantation Boat Mart and Marina. Unbeatable prices guaranteed. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Waypoint, the destination for outdoor entertainment. Ameritrail Trailers. Battleborn Batteries. Spear One Charters. Nikon. And by Killer Doc Fish Cleaning Station. Oh, fish on, baby. Oh, oh that's a good one. There you go. Steve following minutes. me for five minutes. Talking you, Steve, on your bottom. 30 right? or 40? I'm 40. Big fat. Gets big yellow jacks up here as well. Muttons. Oh, you said you're all in me. I see that. Roopers. Let me just cut the cut the mono off. What kind of saltwater species you got, Scott? Is that like a mutton? Yep, it's gonna be a mutton. Size to it, Scott. Big, fat, sandy key. He's floating now, boys. They gave you that He gave it his all. all. Yeah. And his all wasn't good enough. Got it there, Scotty? You got it. I, I like this rig. Mutaneous. Mutton. All right. Mutton. One mutton down. Nice one, too. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> I know what to do with that thing. It's got a green egg in its future. Here you go. All right. Do you, we've been lately getting a lot of American Reds off the duck for summertime. Uh-huh. Of course, that they don't have that. They don't have the black dot. Do you get them up here a little bit? We do. Okay. We do on a couple outer wrecks in like 180, mm -hmm. 220. Are they consistent enough for pups, that, so our three-day season, you have to catch them, target them maybe? Nah. <laughs> a lot of pups. A lot big, like down there off of Marathon, Key West, Duck Key. All right. Bury them. I'll get Brian going after I get re reloaded. Nice. That's one, boys. One down. <clears throat> yeah, so basically we just set up uh, what you guys kind of taught me, that three-way swivel. Uh, short lead to a sinker, mm -hmm. and then run your 20-foot leader off of that three-way. Well, they I, were they were 30-foot, and we didn't have any tangles, so that did make a big difference. I yeah, think that, that uh, was a nice little thing I learned from Scott was the three-way. Yeah, I, I I normally just do the old bang right on top of the regular swivel. Me too. I mean, I might reconsider that. Yeah, that worked out really well. Yeah, because we had started getting into the the muttons. I mean, right off the bat, I yeah. mean, it didn't take long. No, you were on fire, buddy. You <laughs> caught the first three fish, I think. Tell you what, I'm going to start cleaning this mutton, and then you can trim it out the way you want it. Yep. I'll give it to you with the uh, scales on it. Hey, Captain's hooked up. Oh, he got ran to the rail. Pull that over. Pull him back a little bit. A little pull, a little drag. Walker got awfully quiet over there. Come out swinging, but he's shut down. <laughs> I 
That's a half a fish. <laughs> half a Half a oh, bar jack. That's a good half of them, though. Yeah, Yellow that's jack. That's the, that's the meaty, the meaty stuff. That's, that's the shimmy right there, bro. It's like shooting one with a spear gun. He's all oh, bled out. jack. Uh oh. What is going on? You know, you don't want to check to see if they got your bait or not, because. Crab eaters, crab eaters. Oh, Scott. Yeah, you got a bite, buddy. Scott Walker. Salt Little water. fish. Salt no water fish. No drag. <clears throat> oh, I had a little remnant. <laughs> I gave you three shots. It's a weird bite. It's the weirdest bite you ever had. Come back, bait perfect. <laughs> sea feeling. fans are hungry too. I'm feeling things. You going across the nose or up and down? I'm, I'm going across. up and down, so don't spin. That would keep. What do we got there? Another mutton snapper, Scott. All right, bigger than a flip flop. The scales get all blown up on them. We're only in 125 feet. Just came up quick. It's the power of the die was doing that to them. Yeah. <laughs> We gotta right. get a little water in there, huh? I, I was just getting ready to do it. Little birdie. And you look at my rod tip. Plantation Boat Parts Into the Blue, presented by Invincible, is brought to you by Invincible. When you're serious, Rodan Marine. OmniSense Systems. AmeriKay Resort. Academy Sports. Have fun out there. Warbird Fishing Gear. Yeti, built for the wild. Daiwa. and by Golden Boat Lifts. Yeah, Scotty, you, uh, you came out swinging. As soon as you got to the bottom, I think you caught one of the nicer fishes of the day. Right off the bat, man, got excited. <laughs> um, it's nice to be able to fish again. I've been guiding a bunch lately and I haven't had a chance to catch anything. What so. I really liked about when you drift out, you know, outside the reef and you're not really fishing a spot, a lot less stress of trying to get back on the number or trying to read what the drift's oh, yeah. doing. Basically, we're just covering ground. So you want some current, you want some wind. You you got down, obviously we landed right on them. Oh, it was, uh, it was quite the start to what could have been a, you know, a slow October day turned out to be a, as good as any time of the year. That's I mean, some good eating stuff right I'm there, sold. buddy. I'm <laughs> I'm ready for that. I'm ready for that. Oops, there's a bite on the spinner. Go Stoke! You saw that bite. Might be a snooter. Come on, baby. Nothing like a snooter with a trouble. Oh, Coming no, at this you. is mono. Oh, it's just mono? Yeah. With a J? Yeah. You, just, you make the call. If you turn him. Come on, surface. baby. Come on. Shaking his head. Still calling snooter? Staying know. on top. Mahi Mahi, Cobia. Silky. Brown shark. I'll say the negative. Y'all can say all the positive stuff. <laughs> Launch. When it when he said he thought it was Vanita, I went right back to work on the bottom. Yeah. And then, then, Stokey uh, wasn't sure what it was. Yep. You know, and then I, I went up there to help him out. And you know, you can obviously tell by the by the colors of those. Um, obviously you're looking for that black back. And then you'll see a little bit of gold mm -hmm. in the body it's color. Right there, yeah. And that water was different. You know, it was a little off color. It was like a like a gray color. 
We've had some really crazy tides up here this last month, and it's really uh, pushed that Gulf Stream water way out to clean pretty water. Big old black fin, what you got? Come on. Might be. Big black fin? Yeah. Need a gap? Nah, I'll just grab him. That's a black yeah. fin, Captain. <laughs> nice work. Add to the collection. Oh, I love doing that. Oh, I love stalling them on the boat, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, boy, how'd that feel? How did that nice. feel? Nice, buddy. <laughs> nice. Black fin tuna. Take it. From, what were we catching them, 500 yesterday? 500 to 155. 150 20 miles days. out versus five miles out. Oh, I need to do y'all's little. Uh... Yeah, right here. Nice hey guys, how's it going? This is Anthony with Plantation Boat Mart. Here at Plantation Boat Mart, we don't just sell boats, we live them and breathe them. We have over 100 years of collective experience in new and used boat sales. Every one of our salesmen knows every boat line from the inside out. And we're not your typical salespeople. We're here to give you unforgettable experiences and lifelong memories. Our marina will serve you as a hub. From day one, we embark on a journey with you, crafting experiences and forging a long-term relationship. Our sales team has the expertise to match you with the perfect invincible boat. Being the largest invincible dealer is not just a title. It's a promise of unparalleled advantages to our clients. Here at Plantation, we deliver customer experience like no other dealer does. Having the largest selection of invincible boats and loose motors, it allows us to cater to the client's preferences. At Plantation Boat Mart, we go the extra nautical mile to make sure that your experiences last a lifetime. I had asked Scott about African pompadum because I'm always curious how far north their range is and stuff. And he said, Well, you yeah. catch a lot of them in Marathon. Yeah, and when we're down in Key West on the wrecks, we catch a lot of them, but I don't see a lot of them on social media up this way or hear about it really. So I just. I was curious, because we were drifting the same depths we'd be drifting down to the west. And we didn't think much of it earlier in the day. And then to finish off the day, we're going for the last bite of the day, thinking we've got one more mutton coming up. Turns out, we end the day with an African pompano. It was a juvenile. Oh yeah. There he is. He watched that thing coming, coming from the bottom, bottom machine up. Oh, we got him grunting. It's like it's dead boat, dead weight. Got a boot. <laughs> Come on a, now. You got an extra tough? Swimming on top, another coat. It's got a tail. Got a tail. Weird. Has some weight to it, but it's dead weight, but has a tail for sure. One big fat mutt. Kobe that doesn't know he's hooked? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I got a lead. Might be a red grouper. What do you got? I don't know. Spinning in circles down there. Still that. fighting. African? What is that thing? Is that a shark? Following it up? It's been in search of African, I think. Small African pompano. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Little African. Well, that was a great day, bro. I really appreciate <laughs> you bringing us out of here. <laughs> Woo. Oh, look at the streamers on that Oh, thing. the pretty little fish. Streamers are the best on those little guys. 30 pound or 40? 40. 40. <laughs> it's almost like jellyfish tentacles. Cute little guy. I don't know, it's making me crazy. <laughs> All right. Look at that thing. Cool, man. Good job. You get the pliers, cut them. You got a, uh, are you eating this or we're letting it go or what? Let them go. Huh? Let them go, I guess, right? Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Let, let them go. We got a box full of muttons. Let them keep that. It's a good, strong finish. Come on, swim. Start swimming, baby. Good release, bro. Stogie, thank you, man. 
Yeah, uh, there he goes. Look at him go. Oh, yeah. Look at him go. That's right, guy. We're going to cut off your three ways and put them back in your box. Beautiful day in Isla Mirada, it's buddy. Time to go back to the old fillet table. You know, it was time to go in. We had more fish than we could eat. Uh, it was a great day. So we just uh, finished up with that African and uh, easy ride back to Plantation Boat Mart, you know, and uh, getting ready for the another, another adventure, you know. It was crazy when we actually, the bell rang to come home. That's when the wind picked up, the rain started again, and we were in a nice, easy ride on the way home.